Roughly 2,000 years ago, a group of people were out on the night shift somewhere in the countryside. It was likely the same group of people who worked the day shift. There was no limit to the hours they put in, and there was no overtime pay either. Nobody in charge cared about their stress level or their benefits because they were shepherds, and shepherds were at the bottom of the Judean social ladder. The fact that those lowly shepherds were the first ones to hear the Christmas message was unexpected, but someone thought they were worthy. Someone was unconcerned about their social status, and maybe someone did it on purpose. It's part of the Christmas story that shows us, year after year, that everyone deserves to hear a message of love no matter their station in life. Those shepherds must have been filled with total fear and awe. Imagine, you're out in the pasture, probably half asleep, nothing around you but the nighttime and the, the smell of sheep, and suddenly the sky lights up and angels, yes, angels are singing. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The fragile little baby in this Christmas story comes to bring us peace and love and reminds us every year to spread his love to those around us. Christmas is a time of joy, but it's also a time of sorrow for many. And we all know someone who could use a, a kind word or a helping hand. It might be the family who just lost their mother and grandmother in a sudden accident, or a young man waiting desperately for a heart transplant. It might be a family going through a financial setback, or a young woman fighting addiction, feeling lost and alone, or the families of a hockey team who have lost so much but won the hearts of the world. George Matthew Adams said, let us remember that a Christmas heart is a giving heart, a wide open heart that thinks of others first. Standing up for Saskatchewan means we look out for each other. As you go from city to small town to countryside in this great province, it amazes me how people do just that. Look out for one another. And they do it in so many ways. Through volunteering, fundraising, helping refugee families and supporting those in crisis. Saskatchewan people, we reach out to others, always without question, extending the hand of friendship to those in need. Around the world and right here at home, our province continues to be a shining example. And I am so proud to call Saskatchewan my home. So from my wife, Krista and I, and our family, and on behalf of my colleagues in the government of Saskatchewan, may the wondrous spirit of Christmas fill your heart with peace and love. And may that same spirit continue to fill you with hope in the new year. And may all of you know warmth and joy as you celebrate with those you love. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.